advocate for individuals, Ernest Skinner from Councilman Jumani Williams office, Debbie Miller Weiss from Councilman Nelson's office, Charles Glover from the Mayor's office, Todd Sloves from Representative Congressman Anthony Weiner's office, Ken Lazar, Department of Buildings, and Councilman Lewis Fiddler. We open up the public session with Gregory Kalman. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow members of our community. My name is Bring the microphone. Okay. Okay. Good evening, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow members of the community. My name is Gregory Calvin. I'm here to speak about mass planning on 2A12 Woody Avenue. Let me start stating I represent a group of neighbors and residents who share my concern. We are here to ask for some help to us. We appreciate the opportunity of community for giving us ability to speak here. If anybody expects me to raise any racial or religious issue, we will not do that. Because we appreciate everybody who lives in our community and we appreciate every religious. But I want to absolutely clear to people we are not racist or Islamophobes. We are share every right to have any religious rights any prayer rights and everything what America represents everybody. Um, I should be that we will not bring any against of Muslim people. We appreciate them here and we appreciate to have them here with us and hear what we talk. And we don't support any religious discrimination in anything like that. We are opposing this because in a small private community street, they proposed to build four-story building with cellar, full basement as community, worship place, and school. And we are appreciating, we're talking about few issues which will raise this building. First is a park. It's very, very difficult already to park on our area because it's the most private houses and few buildings around. This building not provide people parking. And not everybody have enough parking space when they have a, uh, all private houses. And PS52 located around the corner from this proposed place. And it will bring, because people coming to pick up their kids from school, drop their kids from school. And sometimes they have uh, some meetings in the school and the people circling for parking to find the space. I by myself tell, sometimes people blocking my driveway and ask, why are you blocking my driveway? Because we have to go to the school on meeting. And we don't have a space to park anywhere. Another also is a new restaurant, also built on Emmons Avenue, where a lot of people are mostly summertime coming to Emmons Avenue and they don't have enough parking space over there. They're looking for any local street to park their car. If they found the block of street, they have a car. Also, another situation with the parking will be because we don't have alternative parking street. Means they don't clean up our street and the park permitted to park any day, any time. And sometimes people going somewhere, they leave a car over there for a week, two or three weeks, and we sometimes do not know who they are. Also, our, another our issue is the traffic. Our neighborhood experienced significant automobile traffic in the last decade. We, it's increased. We have a few accidents exactly on the corner of East 48th Street and Woolies Avenue. And we have this many times, sometimes we have a three times a week this accident for the last three, four years ago, until the Department of Transportation put stop on every way on the, this corner. But sometimes people don't pay attention for that and they become another accident and accidents. Another, no, we'll, another issue we'll represent over here, it's a noise. Oh, excuse me. We also represent noise because it will, I'm sorry, one minute. 
the custom of the Muslim people, we are know this, to call for prayer five times a day, starting 5 a.m. That's it. Excuse me. If there is going to be outbursts like that, we'll just forget about it right now. This is not even on our agenda. We, and thank you to Kingsborough Community College for aiding us this evening, you're not on the agenda. This is a courtesy because of the community and what's going on. Excuse me. Excuse me, we do not yell out. You have something to say, get up, raise your hand. Now, as a courtesy to the community, that's why this is going on. We never, during public session, allow more than three minutes speaking time to any one individual. Mohammed Razvi. Thank you, Terry. Um, to my friends that are here, Privat Deruzia, Bazalstad, Dining, three minutes. That's all I'm asking is three minutes from you. I represent Council of People's Organization. It's a community-based organization that helps to help fulfill the American views of community members and also helps to build relationships among groups. I also represent VRO Brooklyn. Those three signs that you see over there after 9/11. The Muslim community received so much hatred, it was unbelievable. I want to draw your attention to the first sign that's over there. Because when we found out that our fellow Russian community member was not only beaten, but was beaten to death, we came together. The Muslim community, the Jewish community, and the Christian community. We stood side by side to make sure that the perpetrators were apprehended The NYPD did that and we requested the DA's office to punish those individuals to the fullest extent of the law. I am so glad the speaker before me, he said, we are not talking about racism or anything, because honestly, you know, we are here together. We are all coming here in the States for that American dream. Yes, many community members, I grew up here. I grew up here in this community when it was called the projects. I grew up in the streets of big projects. Everyone says that this is our community. It's everyone's community. There are many members who are here who have been living here for years and years, absolutely. I've been here, I was six years old. Right now I'm 34 years old. Well, actually, no, 39, I lost a few years there. <laughs> but anyway, coming to the point, it is imperative, it's imperative that we do unite. And you're not gonna believe this. I just recently came from Israel, putting coalitions and community understanding with my dear friend Rabbi Bob Kaplan just two weeks ago, putting community members there to working together, the Muslim, the Jewish community members there. And that's the key. Brooklyn is an example. And I'm so glad we are able here to be here to, absolutely, there are concerns. We, will, we should all come together and address those concerns. How to move forward. Because there are many issues that are here that we can work on. That's why we call it, we are all Brooklyn. Doesn't matter where we're coming from. Here, my kids, your kids, are going to that same school. My, my daughters and your daughters are walking down those same streets. Yes, there are quality concerns. We can work together, and we definitely will. And the most important thing, and I want to end it with this, hate is something that children are not born with. Please, it's at those dinner tables, it's at those little calls that you sit down with your child. It's when you're watching TV, you see something happening and you say, oh, look at those SOBs. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at those people in Haiti. Look how they are walking around. Things like this. That's what really perpetuates hate. Please, I urge you, if you look up on the internet, thank God for Google, Brooklyn is an example of how peace can be achieved throughout the state, throughout the world. Please uphold that. And I pray, and if God willing, I pray that we do work together. Thank you.